Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on the Tarte Holiday Ulta Limited Edition palette. This guy right here, he is really, really big. So it's the Tarte High Performance Naturals palette. This is the palette only exclusively sold on Ulta or Ulta.com. It's not sold on Tarte. It's not sold on Sephora, MAC, anywhere. Why would MAC sell Tarte? Long moment. Anyways, so yeah, this is the palette sold only at Ulta, and this is a palette that retails for $49, but on the box itself, it says that it is a value up to $381. So the reason why I picked this one up is because I don't own any Tarte palettes, and I really, really want this palette. When I heard about this palette, I really wanted it, like, really, really wanted it. And I know that Tarte usually comes out with a limited edition palette every once for the holidays. So I know they come out with one for Sephora, they come out with one for um, Ulta, and I think there's another website. I think Tarte itself comes out with one on their website. Um, but I wanted this one and I was watching like a whole bunch of reviews and everybody was giving this palette such negative reviews and I'm like why so I didn't let the reviews stop me from picking up this palette because it comes with so much and I was like I I just can't like I had to get this palette and try it out for myself and put out my own views so if you guys want to hear about this Tarte holiday edition palette then please keep on watching so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's a pretty big box. Car passing by. Let, let a couple up. So what's inside? It comes with 24 Amazonian clay eyeshadows, two Amazonian clay contour powders, an Amazonian clay highlighter, a deluxe Tarlisse lash paint mascara, a glossy lip paint, and an eyeshadow brush. So it comes with a lot for 49 bucks. This once again is only sold at Ulta and Ulta.com. Trust me. I love the packaging so as you can see this is the packaging itself oh, so pretty I love it and honestly I think it's way better than the on um, the Sephora one so this is what it looks like it comes with 24 eyeshadows and it comes with a large mirror as you can see it comes with a, like a little folding thing so you just pull it up and here is your 24 eyeshadows it comes with tons of it comes with a huge mirror as you can see so if you just started off as a makeup artist and you're just starting off doing your eyeshadow and you don't have a vanity just yet I think this is perfect because you can set it on your desk and just you know look at it like that and dude like do you see it like it's a huge eyeshadow like I love it so here are your 24 eyeshadows and it comes with a little sticky so here are your 24 eyeshadows. I will do up close and personal swatches on these eyeshadows because a lot of people were giving it mixed reviews saying that the eyeshadows weren't pigmented enough, that they weren't showing up well on the face. So yeah, it's a lot of neutral tones. So if you are a neutral tone girl, you will love this palette. I personally love this palette because I think it is the bomb. So yeah, just real quick. So there are 11 shimmers and 13 mattes, so that is what you're getting in the palette, which are really nice. I will swatch them in a bit. So then once you close it, you have another tab on the side and you pull it out and you get this whole piece set. It is detachable, you can remove it, so if you are taking it on the go, which is one thing I love about this palette, that it comes with a whole bunch. It does come with an eyeshadow brush, which is this guy right here. Um, I like this eyeshadow brush. It's supposed to be used for your eyeshadow, but I don't like it for the eyeshadow personally. I like it more for highlighting because I think it's like the perfect um, highlighting brush to get on the top of your cheekbones, down the center of your nose, or like the high parts of your eyebrows. And I think this brush is kind of comparable, just a little bit of the smaller version to the Anastasia um, highlighting brush. If you guys have, I think that number is like 25 or 18, I'm not too sure, but it's similar to the Anastasia brush. And it's this cute little brush. It's full size, it's not a little sample. The only sample sizes that you do receive are the lip gloss in here, which I've tried out personally and I love it. And then you get this mascara. So this mascara is not my favorite. 
if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you guys know that the only mascara I've ever used is my L'Oreal Telescopic. L'Oreal Telescopic ride or die till they discontinue it, which I pray to God that they never do. <laughs> so that's the only mascara I've ever used. So this is the Tarte, Tarte Lash Paint um, mascara, and I do like the packaging. I just don't like the formula and I don't like the brush itself. The brush itself is just really like thin and it's a thick brush but the bristles on the actual mascara is just so thin and it just looks like the type of mascara to flake. I've never used it personally so I don't know if I'm talking crap about it or just anything but I just can't with mascaras like these. Like I said the only mascara I've ever used is L'Oreal Telescopic Rider Dot. I've probably purchased like 50 <laughs> tubes of that. So then you have the little glossy lip paint from Tarte Lit Tartiste lip paint and this is what it looks like. It's the perfect mauve pinky shade. I love colors like these so when I seen it I was like I had to get it. It's a little sample size so this is cute to throw in your makeup bag on the go. So this is what it looks like. I heard a lot of reviews about this guy and it is a semi glossy finish. It doesn't dry matte. It's really pretty as you can see. Shines super bright. And it sets on the lips really nice. Like you're not going to get that feeling all day where you're like, like, need some moisture. Like no, it is completely, completely glossy. It's nice. It doesn't get your hair caught in it. And here you get this other package, which is exactly like the box and the palette itself. So here you get this. You get this right here, which is absolutely adorable packaging. It's kind of like the Picasso, uh hand palette things so you get a blush in this you get a contour and you get your highlighter let me tell you guys that these are super pigmented I thought the highlight was not gonna be so pigmented and people were like raving how bad it was and I was like we probably don't have the same palette like yours is probably a fake or some shit because if you guys don't think this is pigmented enough I, I, then shit I don't know where you guys are at because this thing is like super pigmented so this is the blush itself and it's really pretty like it's a nice light tone pinky blush it's not overwhelming it's not too dark it's not too pink and I think it goes perfect with all skin types it's not gonna be like too dark on fair types and it's not gonna be too light on darker skin types so I think it is perfect it has no shimmer it's completely matte and it's just pretty it's ch it's not chalky it blends super easily like oh, I love it Your contour which I will admit I think it's a little bit too light. I prefer a darker contour because like can you, can you guys see that? Like it shows up really light but it's really simple and easy to blend. It's not chalky. It blends really pretty. It's a little bit too orangey for me but I think this is perfect for contouring. Even though it's a little bit too orangey but like I said I really really like it. Your highlight shade which is ugh, stunning. So running out of hand here so this is your highlight and oh, hold on I need a second I need some Jesus in my life cuz look at that hold on let me zoom in for you guys it's the prettiest highlight of life I love it and then you see that glow so this is exactly what it looks like as you can see it comes with a little palette it's so cute and once again here is the gloss and the mascara well each eyeshadow does have its own name which I do like about that it's really cool and unique so let me just read some of the eyeshadow names to you on the top you have reflection you have on display muse canvas set the tone have we met <laughs> take it easel Ren renaissance woman abstract to the pointillism Glida Gallery, Stencil, Roy Gabiv, Roy Gabiv, <laughs> Metallic Masterpiece, Be an Original, Barrett, Sepia, oh man, how do you pronounce this one? Kaleidoscope, Go for Baruch, Baraku, Go for Baraku, Contrast, Make the Gradient, Doodle, Landscape, and Gothic which is the black one um so let's get started with these swatches and let's see how these apply reflection right here do you all see that oh my goodness 
on display right here which is just a pretty pale white perfect for highlighting then you have muse right here which is not too much of a darker pink but it's more like a mauvey pink it doesn't really show up but it is perfect for transition tones canvas right here which is once again another pale white and like I said the top row it's just all about pale white, setting your under eye. Then you have Set the Tone, which I think is the perfect highlighting shade. Because it's pale, it's a transition shade, you can use it for whichever. I have Have We Met, which is just a darker mauve tone. That's not a really good swatch. Take It Easel, starting with the second row. Then you have Renaissance Woman, which is personally my favorite because it's a mauve pink shade. Then you have Abstract, which I wear pretty much on an everyday basis because I think it is gorgeous. The perfect shimmer to putting on a lid. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do y'all see that? Oh, my mothers. Then you have Take It to the Pointillism, which is another shimmer. Which is beautiful, super pigmented, both of these are. Definitely my two favorite colors in the palette. Then you have Gallery, which is a darker shimmer, which it's going to be pretty for the winter time. You have Stencil. Oh, I swatched it a little too close. You have Stencil, which is the perfect darker outer corner. Then you have Roy Gip, which is another shimmer, and this is the third line in the row perfect red burgundy tone darker burgundy tone and it's really hard to make a burgundy tone because red is one of the hardest colors to make because they don't really show up pigmented and they come out sometimes super chalky so I really do like this one it's more like a brown red, red one so I really like it then you have metallic masterpiece which is another shimmer super super pretty it's kind of similar to this guy right here um stencil but just with shimmer in it and you have be an original going right next to that super dark super pigmented like that was a little tiny swatch and do you guys see how much that came out of my arm I have barrett which is really nice i think this is the perfect transition tone it is matte it does not have any shimmer in it whatsoever Let's put a little more on. Then next you have Sepia. And once again, this is another perfect transition tone, so I really like this guy. You have Kaleidoscope. Which is a dark purple, and I think this is going to be super pretty if you were like to do this all over the lids. So, go for Baruch. Uh, right here, I guess. Perfect darky brown, perfect for underneath the lash line to smoke it out. Then you have Contrast, which is a super dark purple. I will admit this one is a little bit chalky, so I'm going to put it underneath right here. But super pigmented. As you can see, this one does have a little bit of a kickback, and it's a little bit chalky because as you can see, that's where I originally started, and it kind of went pale. But nonetheless, it's really pretty. You just got to work with this color. Then you have Make the Gradient, nice for the outer V, right there. And you have Doodle, which is everybody's favorite color because it's the burgundy shade. And like I said, it's really hard to make burgundy shades. Everybody's second favorite color, this is Landscape, and it is a green shimmer. I think I'm going to do this one for Christmas because it is really hard to find a green shimmer eyeshadow. So you got Landscape right here. Super shimmery, super pigmented, not chalky. Do you guys see how, like, pigmented that came out? Like, which is your black typical eyeshadow. This one is a little bit chalky. It does come off a little bit gray. Like, do you guys see how a little chalky that is? Comes off a little gray, but you know. Another than less, who doesn't own a black eyeshadow that you can't replace this gothic? So here you go, guys. These are all of the swatches from the Tarte Holiday Edition palette. Really love it. I highly recommend it 
$49, but it's a retail value of $381 is what they say. But I mean, $49 bucks for 24 eyeshadows, a contour, a blush, a highlight, a lipstick, a mascara, and an eyeshadow brush. It's kind of not a thinking question. You kind of just do it. <laughs> so yeah, guys, here is a last uh, look of all of the shades and, of course, your contour, highlight, and your lipstick. Yeah, guys, this is the final result. This is my review on the Holiday Tarte Palette, exclusively only sold at Ulta. So do I recommend it? Absolutely, 100% recommend it. It is definitely worth it. The people who are saying that it has bad reviews on it and the people who were saying it's not pigmented, I don't know if they were just doing a fake, <laughs> fake palette or something because this is super pigmented, as you can see. Absolutely love the colors. This is pretty much my everyday go to go. Only thing I can say is that this is not good for traveling. Like if I'm traveling somewhere, this isn't the palette that I'm gonna throw in my makeup bag because it's too big to put in my makeup bag. But it is definitely good to have on my vanity and just keep it there because it is really big. And that's the one thing I love about this guy because you can just set this on your vanity. Like I said, if you're a starter in makeup, this is the palette to go to. And yeah, guys, so I really love this palette. I hope you guys do too. If you guys want to see an eyeshadow look with it, let me know and comment below. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.